What's going on everyone? We've got a custom Yoda RGH2 Xbox 360 here. As you know on eBay I can't really advertise that it's a modded console. So hopefully you're watching this to get all the details. This is a Jasper RGH2 with mod chip. It has a disk drive delete. And it is of course Yoda themed. We've got a brand new Soul Calibur 4 Yoda faceplate. We've got a green ring of light, orange in the middle, which is going to be flashing, of course, because there's no DVD drive. And with that extra space, we've got a fan controller right here. That's what this knob is here. Um, we have a, another CPU heatsink on the GPU, so we've got dual CPU heatsinks. We've got a clear fan shroud that has been modified on this side to accommodate the larger heatsink. It's also painted over in a glow-in-the-dark paint. We have green Talus Moon Whisper fans in the back, and of course this giant fluid-bearing 200 millimeter fan on the top. And this kind of acts as the Dagobah Swamp. That's kind of the theme for this build. So with all the green glow in there, and then as you can see down here, we've got an X-Wing. Now you can't see it very well now, but if we turn this fan controller on, we've got three UV green uh, 40 millimeter fans up at the top that are pulling air in uh, through using this vent and the hard drive is all hollowed out as well as cut open on the bottom to allow full airflow all the way around the SSD. This is a 500 gigabyte SSD that's fully loaded. We'll look at that in a second. But this controller will go 0 to 12 volts for these three fans and some LEDs down here at the bottom. So we'll turn it all the way up. And it is loud when it's all the way up. However, if you're gaming, it's really not much louder than a PS4, if you know you know. But you can turn them all on and then just crank it down to about half speed. It will definitely allow a lot of extra cooling. If you let it get up to, really get up to temp, like high 50s, and then you crank those fans on, it'll drop pretty quickly. Now we've got fully custom painted. The whole top is a, uh, it's like lime ice lacquer top and bottom. The side panels are a bronze gold color. On this back side here we've got the silhouette of Yoda and do or do not there is no try. We've got two custom controllers here. This one is clear on the front with chrome green buttons, chrome green back. It has green LEDs on the rocker motors. This one is kind of the inverse of that. We've got white buttons, uh, green chrome on the front, clear on the back. This also has green LEDs. You can see them right there on the rocker motor, so they will light up to the vibration of the controller. And then we've got our temperature display here, and that sensor is directly under the GPU heatsink. And then we've got this uh, leafy twine kind of fed around the fan just to kind of add to the swamp effect there. So, a um, couple things to note, like I said, it's RGH2, it is, it was modded a long, long time ago, not by me, uh, I bought it modded with the chip, fully cleaned the whole thing out, and put all these mods on here. Um, so, because of that, it does take a little longer to boot, especially if it's been unplugged. The first time you plug it in to turn it on, you're going to see the green fan kind of trying and trying as it... Uh, tries to boot itself up. It will boot every time, but that first time does take 10 to 15 seconds. After that, it seems to boot up a lot faster. Uh, so right here, it'll boot up directly into the Aurora menu, and that's because of this hard drive here. Uh, if you watched any of the build videos, it, there was a 320 gig in here, and it just had the XEX menu. But uh, this hard drive is for the Ruby Red build that's coming up here soon. Um, but most of those games don't work on it because it has a Blades dashboard, and I'm not going to update it. But it works great on this one. So you can see Saints Row, Rock, Rock Band, Need for Speed, Midnight Club, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto. You can see the emulators here as well. We got NES, Sega Genesis, there's I think Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo I believe. I haven't even looked at everything on here yet. PlayStation 1. But like I said, this is 500 gigabyte and it's a SSD. So it should load a lot faster. And... Yeah, it's just completely filled to the brim with games. Still has XEX menu, dash, dash launch, all the stuff you could, you, you could need. Um, so that is pretty much it. 
you get this console, two controllers, power supply, HDMI cable, and yeah, any questions, leave them in the video, comment section, good lord, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, do or do not, there is no try. Now like I said, modded console, if you have no experience with this, I wouldn't recommend buying this console. There is no disk drive, it will not play discs. Um, and I can provide as much support as possible, but like I said, I'm not the one who actually did the mod on this. Um, however, I have been using this quite a lot, testing it out, everything seems to be working great. So, if you are watching this video not from the eBay link, and you want the eBay link, it will be in the description of this video. If it's not there, that means I just posted this and I haven't put the link in there yet, so please bear with me. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos, see what other builds are coming up, including a custom firmware PS3 with over 3,500 games with water cooling, and a very rare 360. Thank you guys for watching.